I'm sorry guys, I had to try one. I had to try one. I let it cool for a bit. Here we go. Mm-mm-mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hi everyone, welcome back to yet another great episode. I'm Sergio Vidal with Sergio Vidal Cooking Recipes. And on this episode, we're going to be making hot buffalo wings. All right, let's get straight to the ingredients. So you're going to need some salt, pepper, garlic powder, cayenne pepper, cayenne powder, a bit of nutmeg, some Worcestershire sauce, your favorite hot sauce. I'm using um, a Portuguese branded hot sauce, but you can use Frank's um, Frank's hot sauce. That's usually the, uh, the original one to use. I'm going to be using some paprika, about a half a cup of real butter, salted butter. I already went ahead and cleaned off my, my chicken wings cut them, uh, cut off the end tips as well, gave them a good wash with cold water and some lemon, just uh, scrubbing lemon over the, the chicken. So you are you need to cut them basically into these pieces uh, here, just cutting them in half if you have the whole wing and making sure you just get rid of that tip because there's really no meat on the end tip, so not necessary in your buffalo chicken wings. All right, I'm going to get my ingredients so the seasonings that we'll be using so salt add it generously you want your hot wings to come up with some good flavor we'll be making the buffalo sauce as well so some pepper freshly ground black pepper a generous amount of garlic powder We'll go in with the cayenne pepper, cayenne powder. Again, we're making these hot, so put in a good amount of cayenne, just a bit of nutmeg. It's already grounded, so grounded nutmeg. We're gonna go in with our Worcestershire sauce. Couple drops, I'll be adding some in the, um, in the hot buffalo sauce we'll be making as well and some of your paprika. All right. We're gonna stir this up. Get all those delicious ingredients mixed up around your chicken wings. Smelling awesome. Try out this recipe. Season your chicken wings. Season absolutely everything. <laughs> All right, makes your food taste better. All right, we're gonna let this sit for a couple of minutes. I'm gonna put it back in my fridge for about a half an hour. Let that marinade soak up into the chicken really well. It's gonna keep it nice and moist and flavorful. And then we'll get our frying pan going with some hot oil and we'll get frying. All right, we have our vegetable oil heating here on our, in our nonstick frying pan for about three and a half minutes. It's on a medium to uh, about a medium to a medium high heat. Let's start adding our chicken wings, our buffalo wings, right into that hot oil. All right, just getting the last few out of my bowl here. We're gonna let these cook down, again on a medium, medium to a medium high heat for at least 10 to 12 minutes, giving it an occasional flip. So flip your wings occasionally. All right. Smelling really good with all that garlic that we see, the garlic powder, all the other seasonings, the pepper, the cayenne, smelling great. All right, we're going to let that fry up, and we'll get right back to the next process once we start to see it getting a nice golden color. 
All right, guys, welcome back. They've been frying for roughly 14 minutes on a medium-high heat. They're nice and golden, nice and crisp. Again, you're turning, you be flipping these around every two to three minutes, getting them nice and crisp on both sides. So I'm just gonna turn off my heat. And just put these in a bowl here. Drain off that excess soil. Looking beautiful. Those That meat should be falling right off that bone. All right, we'll get these out of the frying pan. Drain off the excess oil and we'll get started with our hot buffalo sauce. All right, in a medium saucepan, got it on a low heat here. Uh, we got our half a cup of real butter. We're gonna be adding two thirds a cup of your favorite hot sauce. Now for some seasonings, you'll add in some salt. We'll add in some garlic powder. Gonna be adding in a bit of freshly ground black pepper. And a couple of drops of Worcestershire sauce. Should be good. And lastly, just to top it off with some more heat, some more of uh, your cayenne powder, cayenne pepper. All right, we're gonna give this a good stir. So this is your buffalo sauce. This is how you make a, a buffalo sauce for your buffalo chicken wings. All right, that added uh, butter, melted butter with the hot sauce. That's basically the original recipe right there. Add in the seasonings, makes the sauce even richer. So we're gonna let this melt down, get it to a simmer. All right, this has been simmering on a low heat for about three and a half minutes, close to four minutes, giving it an occasional stir. It's thickened up quite a bit as well. You can see that that sauce is definitely uh, gotten a bit thicker. So there goes our buffalo sauce. All right, I'm gonna turn off the heat. And we'll get this poured over our buffalo chicken wings. All right, let's pour that buffalo sauce right over our chicken wings. Beautiful. Smelling good with that melted butter, that hot sauce. Get, get all that hot sauce out of that pan. We want some spice and flavor. And these buffalo wings. All right, I'm gonna give this a really good toss. We got some extra sauce. I love my buffalo wings with some extra sauce. Always great for some extra dipping. All right, give these a really good stir. Let's get them plated. Still steaming, nice and hot. Oh yeah, this is a game changer right here. Just pour some of that extra sauce. Awesome. I'm gonna get rid of that excess, get it all in there. Perfect. There we have it, guys. Buffalo chicken wings, homemade, made here at Sergio Vidal Cooking Recipes. Once again, it's always my pleasure being here with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Try it out. Like the video if you enjoyed the content. 
subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so that you're updated when I upload a new video every week. All right, there you have it, buffalo chicken wings. God bless everybody, and I'll catch you on the next episode.